Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is protein deficiency could lead to developing anemia. That is absolutely true. There are many people out there that they have been diagnosed with anemia, but their anemias cannot be corrected by conventional medical treatments. They take iron pills, iron supplements, and many other products, but their anemias cannot be corrected. And today, you are going to learn what might be the reason. My name is Abu Zar Habibi Nia. I have an MD degree, and I am the director of the Canadian Academy of Sports Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel to enjoy the information we are going to share on a weekly basis about medicine, fitness, weight loss, and sports nutrition. Okay, let me show you how true it is that if you don't get enough protein on a daily basis, in the long term, you may develop anemia. As you know, anemia means that your body is not producing enough red blood cells. In other words, anemia means your body is not producing enough blood. I have drawn already in here for you a bone and a kidney. Actually, these two organs, they are connected to each other all the time. As you know, there is a part of your bone, we call it bone marrow. I have highlighted in here by red color. Red blood cells or blood is produced by your bone marrow. Bone marrow is about 4% uh, of your body weight. To produce blood for you, your bone marrow is going to consume five key nutrients. What are those five nutrients? Iron, vitamin B6, vitamin B9, vitamin B12, and zinc. So, your bone marrow is going to consume those five key nutrients to produce enough blood. However, the production of blood by bone marrow has to be supervised by something else. The production of blood by bone marrow has to be regulated by something else. That something else comes from your kidneys. Your kidneys, they produce a hormone that hormone, it's called EPO, erythropoietin hormone. EPO hormone usually is produced and released by your kidneys, about 90% of it. 5 to 10%, you know, comes from uh, your liver. So your kidneys, they produce EPO hormone, and EPO hormone is going to regulate and supervise the production of blood by your bone marrow from those five key nutrients. On the other hand, in medicine we know that EPO, the production of this hormone, EPO hormone, is very sensitive to oxygen demand of your kidneys. There is something we call it a resting oxygen consumption. Remember, every single organs in your body, they receive oxygen. 10% of resting oxygen consumption of your body goes to your kidneys. The production of EPO hormone by your kidneys is very sensitive to resting oxygen consumption. And ROC is in direct relationship with your basal metabol metabolic rate, BMR. BMR is the minimum calories that you need addressed to function normally. In general, this is, we call it, body metabolism. And I'm sure you know that your metabolism or BMR is in direct relationship with your uh, protein intake. Now you know, if you don't get enough protein, what happens? In the long term, your BMR or body metabolism is going to go down. When your metabolism goes down, 
resting oxygen consumption by your kidneys is going to decrease. And that uh, the decrease of ROC by your kidneys is going to less production of EPO because the production of EPO hormone is very sensitive how much uh, your kidneys are receiving oxygen. When the amount of oxygen received by your kidneys goes down, the production of EPO hormone is going to go down. So when your body doesn't have enough EPO hormone, what happens? Even if your bone marrow has an access to a truckload of those five key nutrients, your bone marrow won't be able to make blood for you. This type of anemia we can see among vegans, uh, vegetarians, elderly people that are living alone, endurance athletes, people with anorexia nervosa, people with uh, low function thyroid, chronic liver diseases and chronic kidney diseases. You know, these people, uh, those people, they go on a dialysis, you know, once or twice a week. Definitely they suffer from anemia. That anemia comes from less production of EPO. So if you have been diagnosed with anemia and your anemia cannot be corrected by conventional treatments, now you know what might be the reason. We make science easy to understand, now you know. If you don't want to miss our weekly videos, you may subscribe to the CSSN channel. Until next time, stay safe, stay proteinized.